news you can use. It's slightly different this morning. I've been asked to uh, a couple of times here to talk about real estate as a an investment class. One of the why why real estate versus stock markets or buying you know gumball machines or something like that. So <clears throat> put together a little list here of you know top eight reasons or so why real estate is a good investment. Some of this would apply to those of you who do this for a living and others, uh, it's just good to kind of listen in. So the first reason that real estate is a great investment is you can leverage your investment. Uh, in other words, if you have $10,000 to spend to earn you money and you were to put it in the stock market, you'd get $10,000 of stock, right? But if you were to do that in the real estate game, you could leverage that with a loan and buy perhaps $100,000 of real estate um, with just a $10,000 investment. Now, if you do it, of course, the way we teach it, it you can use that $10,000 and stretch it out to you know, a million dollars of real estate, but it is leverageable. So that's, that's point number one, why real estate is a good class. You can leverage it. You can't do that with other investments like stocks, for example. Uh, number two, you can force appreciation. In the real estate game, if you do, uh, in theory, in most markets, when you do some repairs, you upgrade, you add to the house, you put in a pool, you redo the yard, you redo the kitchen, uh, these things will add value or what we'd call force appreciation. In other words, the house may be worth 100 today, but we do, we do the kitchen, it might be worth 140, that type of thing. You can't do that with stocks. You can't just go in and say, I want to take my $10,000 worth of stocks and make it worth 100,000 or something like that. It doesn't work that way, but you can in real estate. Number three, you will get tax benefits. There's a lot of ways to get tax benefits in the real estate game. Uh, you can deduct, of course, interest. You can deduct points. Uh, you can deduct closing costs. You can deduct property tax. Uh, and, and for those of you in the business full-time as a real estate investor, dealer type thing. There are other aspects of your life and your business that you can deduct too. Can't do that in a passive investment, like for example, stocks. Uh, so it's it's great from the tax standpoint. Of course, you get depreciation and there are some ways that, that Blair and I've been exploring that you can increase that depreciation on a rapid basis. We'll talk about that over the next few weeks, but uh, it, there are some distinct tax advantages to doing it. Number four, you can earn regular cash flow. Uh, if you go ahead and, and buy a property, you're going to get rent if you want to put a renter in there. Or in, in some cases, lease option, you're going to get a lease payment. Uh, either way, it's going to be a consistent, it should be a consistent, assuming you've done your deal of due diligence in getting your tenant in there, should be a fairly consistent uh, cash flow for you. So uh, once again, when you buy stocks, unless you happen to buy a stock that has a dividend component to it, you're not going to get regular payments, regular cash flow from that, if you will, from real estate. Number five, um, and this is kind of a squishy factor, uh, but you can you will tend to feel more financially secure. And, and the reason for that is because in real estate, you've always got an asset that you could go look at, touch, kick, lick, whatever you want to do. It's still there. It's not like stocks and cryptos and things like that, where it's it's out in the ether and you don't know if it's real or not. You can't touch it, you can't grab it, you can't, in theory, put it in the back of your truck and take off with it. Uh, it is it is a, uh, like I said, it's a more of a squishy factor, but it is a real factor nonetheless. There is a tangible asset behind an investment in real estate. Number six, uh, there are many ways to invest in real estate. You guys all know that. Uh, you can buy properties undervalued, you can buy them at the top of the market, you can buy them with cash, with no cash. You can wholesale them. You can buy them under land contracts. You can sell them any of those ways. Um, you can house hack, uh, like you buy a duplex and you live in one side, you rent out the other to make the payments for both. Uh, and, and if you just want to do it as a hands-off investment, you could invest in some type of REIT, real estate investment trust. So there are tons of ways to, to do that. There's tons of ways to invest. And I would always suggest diversifying your investment. Number seven, <clears throat> you can pass real estate down to your heirs. Uh, in, in the case of stocks, mutual funds, as, and cryptos and some of these things, you may have to tax it or you may have to pay taxes on that transfer at your death. 
<clears throat> with real estate, depending on the value and the equity, it can pass through to your uh, heirs tax-free. Finally, number eight, <clears throat> you can use the equity in your real estate portfolio to expand the portfolio itself. So in other words, let's say that you bought that $100,000 house with $10,000 of leverage, $90,000 loan. Now all of a sudden the house is worth $180,000. You can go out and borrow probably 80% of that and take out the cash, which would get you about another $50,000. You could take that 50 out and you could do the same thing over and over again. You could take the 50 divided into 10 or five $10,000 pieces and you can leverage all of those. And before you know it, you've got a million dollars of real estate on your original $10,000 investment. So it's a great way to, to go. Uh, you can't leverage your profits without taking them in the case of stocks and cryptos and things like that. Uh, so it's a great investment from that standpoint. So they, hence, that is the, the top eight reasons that I see that you should be in the real estate as an investment game, which all of you guys are. So um, if you guys have questions, uh, don't hesitate to put them in the, the chat and we'll be glad to answer them.